The purpose of all hearing technology, hearing aids, FM systems, is to access sound and grow the, and develop auditory brain centers. This is vital to our understanding and as school staff we need to make sure the equipment is working properly. The following questions are just a few that teachers have asked when they are teaching students using technology to access auditory information in the classroom. Did he hear me? Did he understand the directions? Why is he so inconsistent with his responses? How do I know that the hearing aids or FM system are working? Is he distracted or inattentive or didn't he hear me? This is a complex situation for teachers and the adage a stitch in time saves nine really applies here. In partnership with the family, establish a technology check routine. Make sure there are batteries on hand at school and if possible, have the family check the technology prior to leaving home with the plan that you or a teaching assistant will be checking the equipment first thing in the morning and right after lunch each day. You don't want to end the day and then check the equipment and realize that it hasn't been working for a great deal of the day. What do you need to do to check the equipment? For the younger student, I would suggest doing the Ling Six sounds in the morning and after lunch each day. These six sounds are speech sounds that need to be repeated by the student. It gives us an indication of whether the equipment is working. Initially, this will take a few minutes to complete, but after a couple of weeks, you will find that it takes less than a minute to do all of the steps. You can also do a functional check throughout the school day. Be sure to see the video or the video link on the Ling 6 sound. The same applies for older students. Consider doing a, li a functional listening check prior to the beginning of the day and just after lunch. What does this mean? It can mean a quick Ling 6 sound test if you like the structure of that activity or you can ask an open-ended varying open-ended question, making sure you vary the questions. If you're questioning whether the technology is working during a lesson, you can always call on that student for an answer. If you notice a trend in them not being able to answer the questions that you know they know, discreetly ask if their hearing aid needs to be checked. We don't want them to miss a lesson because their technology was not working. The FM system check. You do the same as with a hearing aid, but because the FM system eliminates the element of distance, you will need to do your check at a challenging distance, usually greater than 10 to 15 feet, and make sure the student cannot see you. Watch the videos on FM systems for additional information on how to use this essential tool for education. We also think that there are a number of things teachers should have on hand to check the equipment. These include a battery tester, a stethostat to listen to the hearing aids, monitoring headsets for cochlear implants, and a cleaning kit. The use of this equipment should be taught in person as listening to hearing aids or a cochlear implant processor varies from device to device.